It is not news that the U.S. military tested mustard gas on American troops during World War II. But NPR's investigation team dug deeper. They tracked down veterans who described race-based testing and broken promises. Survivors recall being herded into gas chambers and screaming to be released. Secret mustard gas experiments brings this disgraceful military experiment to the public and long needed attention to its victims. American military officials called mustard king of the gases, and they used enlisted men as human test subjects. The World War II experiments exposed African-American, Japanese-American, and Puerto Rican troops to chemical weapons. And they sought to find racial differences that could be exploited on the battlefield. We owe those who are still alive and the families, we owe them a, a huge debt. And I'm not sure how you repay such a debt. Here to accept the Peabody Award is Caitlin Dickerson. These stories we told were complicated in all the ways that traditional investigative reporting can be, uh, but they were complicated in other ways too. It seems a bit of a theme tonight. There were so few living veterans left to tell us about these experiments. And of those, actually, when we called them on the phone, only a handful could hear us. Um, but that was okay. We just showed up at their doors. And they were really guarded at first. They're from a generation that doesn't feel sorry for itself or complain. Uh, but eventually they opened up to us and they told us about this harrowing experience from when they were only 18, 19 years old, um, and then about being ignored for decades afterward. So it was an honor to be able to help bring their experiences to light. Uh, I've got to thank the amazing team of journalists I worked with. They're the absolute best in the business. My producer, Nicole Beamsterboer, our research librarian, Barbara Van Workum, and my editor, Bob Little, um, to NPR for supporting us through these stories. And, and thanks to the Peabody's for this recognition. Thanks. Thank you.